sounds like a very unusual movie in that essentially you've constructed two films in one. For me it was about uh, writing a love story and, and making a film about a relationship and, I, and I, I think you know showing both sides of the relationship made more sense to give I think a relationship it's full due giving the male and female perspective. He pointed at me um, and he said male and you for female. It, that's the way I roll. <laughs> so. I had written him, the male perspective of it, and Jess and I were friends at the time, and you know, I'd given the script to her, and she actually started asking questions about the character of Eleanor, and that sort of led to a whole discussion that opened up the idea of exploring where she goes and who she is, and you know, sort of subtextualizing the, his version of it, and, and it actually became a whole other project that became the two-part love story. Ten years ago, I ran up to him at the Lemleys in Santa Monica, at the Malibu Film Festival, and so when I first moved to Los Angeles, since I'd just seen a short film playing at the festival, and I said, I think you're such an incredible filmmaker, and I really hope to work with you someday. Can I have your information so I can, my manager can send you my reel? We've had a very long friendship. <laughs> you and I? It's I mean, pretty it's incredible if you think about it. I mean, you, you were you know, two kids struggling, so it was cool. Yeah, with big dreams of Hollywood. You know, it's like, someday we'll work together. <laughs> Tell us, James, about your side of this marriage. I think the film that represents his point of view is a bit more of a mystery. There's a mystery to it, you know, the, the disappearance of Eleanor Rigby. But for my movie, it's a bit more of a straightforward mystery in that like, I'm a guy who just doesn't know where his wife is. And so the movie for him is a process of trying to figure out where she's gone, why she's gone, and then realizing that that's a lot to do with him as well and, and, and all of that. But along the way, it's, um, it's you know, heartwarming and fun and you know, all that good <laughs> stuff. It's not just sad. Uh, it's really sad as well. I heard a lot of horror stories about James McAvoy. <laughs> and so I was, I was really concerned when I arrived on set. But actually, he wasn't a jerk. Just kind of mildly <laughs> annoying. Just, yeah, yeah, a little annoying. Good. But really actually generous. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>